Hey guys and welcome back. The first question you might be asking is, Adam, where the hell am I today? Well, I'm actually inside any Cassinated Menabilia shop over here in North Shields. It is called Stadium Collections. You come in here, you just see straight away the amount of stuff that's in here. There's actually over 40,000 programs behind me. That is mental to say. Now, this video is completely different to anything I do on my channel and I'm going to be real with you guys. I think with the way this season's been, I don't know about you, but I'm just sick of the negativity. I'm sick of making videos and you talk about how Newcastle's lost this game, how we got this injury. And for me, it's just not enjoyable to make it. Like, imagine for you watching it, it's not enjoyable to watch. So I thought, let's change things up on my channel. I'm going to obviously keep making my vlogs as always, but for videos during the week, I think it's a good example to actually make Newcastle content, but away from the results, you get what I mean? So it's just Newcastle and that's it. It's just, it doesn't have to be about the game that is at the weekend or the game that's coming up, it's just about Newcastle United as a football club. So something completely different, let me know if you enjoy it and we'll do more stuff like this. But first thing I want to say is uh, I've actually got an upcoming video as well with God and myself, so I've got a PO box open if you guys want to send me anything, you want to send me letters, something you want me to show off on camera. It's somewhere that's going to be good with engaging the audience and also just a good, good opportunity to see what the hell you guys send me. So. The PO box is 978 Adam P Wozen NE285FL if you want to send anything across. Feel free to do so and within the next couple of weeks or so we'll make a video on it. Now let's get onto this box here. So this is a box that is just full of stuff from inside the shop. Um, straight up I paid £100 to Stadium Collections. I've got absolutely no idea what's in this box. I thought, you know what, let's do a new Cassinate mystery box. You guys just pretend you are me in this position. You've just paid £100 for this, you're, it's a Christmas present, it's someone you're giving to your parents, whatever it may be. Uh, would you be happy with what's inside this box? Are you, what sort of things do you like as Newcastle fans? If we're going to have a look in today, I've got absolutely no idea what's in it. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see what's, uh, what's going to be in this box. So I'm going to open it one at a time, we get through it one by one. I'm going to open the box now and just start picking stuff out. I've got, as I said before, I've got no idea what's in. The first thing I can feel is like a picture of some sort, so let's see what it is. It's actually just straight up a, a picture of Callum Wilson there, there he is. Now, I've ever got a chance to get that signed from minute, it's a lovely picture to get printed on the wall. But hey, there he is, Mr. Callum Wilson. I uh, love him, by the way. I think, in all honesty, we've got to sign an our strike under summer, but for now, still does a job. If you get over £20 million for him, as much as I don't want to say I would say yes to that deal. I think he's probably a player we should be selling. Oh, no way. I, I, listen, mate, Jordy Josh is actually recording this video. I bet you he doesn't know what this is. This is actually called a VHS tip. Um, now, these were around when I was a kid. It actually transitioned into DVDs, I think, around 2005 or so. I do remember watching VHS tapes. They're not very good, but definitely someone that is a collection item. So we've got a Kevin Keegan, his football career. I imagine it'll probably do well at least time in the castle as well. So uh, that's a kind of one, actually. All right, next up, a few... Um, we have to close with some type, so what is this actually? So this is Jordan Newcastle bucket hat here, so we'll put it on and have a try here. I don't know, look at this. <laughs> I'm not really one for bucket hats to be honest. Um, I, I don't know what I do, it just doesn't suit me. Uh, some of you guys might think differently about it, but I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not a bucket hat kind of guy, but there it is, that's the third item there. We we'll stick that down. Let's see what is next. So. I'm going to pick out, I think it's a bit of clover in this, so let's see what it is. So this is a Newcastle United training kit. Um, I think that was last season, or maybe Neddy Howe's first season. I do recall how well one of these. Um, I think it's a, a manager's training kit. I, I, I don't know exactly if I'm correct or not, but again, there's a piece of clover in there. Stick that down there, obviously you're short on canvas, so you can get a closer look at them. So, uh, Next up is, that feels like a book, I think it's a hard copy book. What is this here? So it's today is the day, you can see United, or the club legends there, 121 years of history, so at that point it would have been probably the early 2010s when that came out. Oh, it's a decent little book. Um, for me, I do like reading the book, but I don't actually read too much on Newcastle, I don't know what it is. I think it's because of the fact I'm just, it's Newcastle 24 or something, I think I prefer reading other things, but definitely something you can probably stick on this show when you go, well, you know what, um, that's something in the collection now. I, didn't, I don't have it to be fair, so definitely something that I think is all right. So this is a scarf. <laughs> now, I'll tell you a uh, story about Newcastle scarves, actually, now, 
whenever war flags are displayed, you've got to wave your scarf at a match. I always forget the bloody things. Like I had to go to the back page or something and spend £10, £15 on a damn scarf. I always forget them. So uh, uh, that's it. No, I went for the collection. I've probably got like 10 in the house now. I remember uh, I think a couple of lads let me one once. They're still in the house. Like, oh, I'm just I'm all for a scarf and take them to the match when you're supposed to. But there uh, is the castle scarf there, black and white. I probably, if I get it all out, I might have just saved the castle. It's a uh, nice scarf to be fair. Like, it feels quite nice as well. So uh, stick that down there for the collection. Uh, next up, I think that's a book, is it? It is. Uh, so a Gavin P. Buck uh, book. So it's a greater glory from pitch to pulpit. There's there. Don't know too much about uh, Gavin Peacock, actually just a little bit before my time, but uh, definitely someone that is, a, a, I mean, a fan favourite, I would say, the castle massive fan of him, so there he is there, now and down there, it's going to go in the collection of the books, so the books will be going straight on my shelf. Um, this feels like, is that, is that a beanie hat? Oh, look, it is, <laughs> I guess they're quite right there, so again, the castle beanie hat there, so that would go in my head, matches nicely with the scarf, actually, so... Ah, so this is a little collection to be fair, I think we're definitely for grandparents to be getting these for your, your kids or anything like that. Um, I, I, I'll do rate it. Uh, let's see what is next. So we have got, I think that's a mug, is it? Um, support, I'd say, is that. I've got to open this up in a sec, guys. But um, yes, it is a mug. So it's the uh, best supporter in the world. Oh, it's quite a nice message. I think, uh, I think they're trying to tell me something there, but I know, honestly, though. Again, um, my dad must have all 100 of these in the house by now. I got them like so many at Christmas, but uh, again, best support in the world. There we go. Let's stick that down there with the beanie hat and the scarf. So we'll keep going through the box now. I think there's still, still a few more things in here. Uh, we have got, uh, what's this? Boys, the castle with socks, five pucks. So yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go around many castle socks on as well. So look at that there. Um, Again, the sort of thing where you probably come in here, yeah, not be that much to buy, you know, you're getting for your kids, grandkids, straight away, it's this kind of thing you probably want as a good present. We'll keep going through. Um, so this is Alan Shearer, Captain Fantastic. I've never read this before. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's just literally just a book about Shearer. I don't think it's an autobiography or anything like that. I think it's just someone talking about what a person you think about Shearer, but there he is, actually icon, the goat, the one and only. She always stick that down there, the rest of the books. I think I can feel some programs, so we'll, we'll pick these out. So we've got, what we've got here, we've got uh, Peter Beardsley, Straight Away versus Liverpool 1995. Uh, I've got no idea what the score was actually in that one. Got a feeling we're probably lost, we'd always bloody lose to Liverpool, but uh, it was 1995, Peter Beardsley. Probably the best player I've ever first played with, I still can't believe I can actually say that in a sentence, but. Uh, I do like collecting the old programs and I don't think I have that one considering how many I've got. I haven't got that many of mine but I do have a decent amount in the house so still one I haven't got. Uh, this one here is Liverpool in the Premier League season 1994 uh, so the year prior to that BRC one down there. I might have that one actually. I, I think I do have, do have quite a few from the early 90s so not sure but I'll have that one for you guys but just let me know. There again, a uh, nice little program down there, and I quickly have a few on the box. I think we've still got a few more things in there. So I think it's another program here. Which one's this? It is uh, Swindon Town from 1994. Uh, again, Premier League side out. I can't believe Swindon Town was a Prem team once, but there is another one there. I don't know if I got that one. I've got absolutely no idea because I collect big bundles in the house, so it will kind of look like a big bulk there. So it, it's someone that. I might have, might not, so I've got no idea to be honest. That goes down there, have we got anything else in here? Feels like there's a, oh yes, I think there's one more item in here. So we have ourselves a membership badge. I've got no idea what uh, what year that membership was from actually. I don't, I don't know, but there is official membership badge there. So all that comes together to £100. So uh, what do you guys think about that one? Do you think that's a good haul? Would you be happy if you paid for all that uh, but for me honestly I, I just want to make a video of it an unboxing i would think i don't know what it is but i like unboxing stuff it's maybe a surprise maybe the the present feeling behind it but uh going forward we can do some on ebay for example so as i mentioned before when josh recording the video here i could just straight up give josh 100 pounds he can buy whatever the hell he wants on, 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 on online so you get all the box and we just make a mad video out of it or some bundles in ebay or something like that we can try and make a bit more but i guess an authentic video but I just want to say, uh, finally for me, I've got no affiliation to anyone inside Stadium Collectibles. I literally just came in here and I thought, well, you know what, let's make a video like this. I'm 
for contact in advance. Just I'm going to give you £100, just fill this box, box up with stuff and we'll see what's inside. So uh, if you enjoy this sort of thing, let me go and do some different shops or we can uh, obviously have a look elsewhere. But the final thoughts on this is it is actually quite good. Like honestly, I think especially for programs, you know, after a particular game, you're struggling to get them. The price quite well and you can just come in and just find what game you need. For me, um, just down there is actually the, the Dortmund and the PSG away games. Now that for me, I went across to Germany and France, but I didn't actually ever buy the programs and they're quite hard to get on eBay because some geese are selling for like £30 a pop. So you come in here, you get them for much cheaper and I will give them credit for that because um, it's quite handy. You just come and get the games that I need and if you need any games this season, last few seasons, even our clubs as well, have got loads of Sunderland ones there, there's loads of different clubs. They've got finals from god knows what years and down at the front you've got you've got signed shirts you've got signed by the beauty it is it's definitely worth a look i definitely think you should come down here if you get a chance to do so but finally for me guys if you enjoy watching let me know your thoughts down below i appreciate you watching thank you so much take care and i'll see you all in the next one